Your current website is built with Elementor, Divi, maybe something outside of WordPress, and you want to make the wonderful choice of moving everything over to Thrive Suite because you want to be able to build your pages, your themes, your opt-in forms, your quizzes, your courses, essentially everything about your business using the same and most powerful technology on WordPress. But how do you do it? How do you bring over all of your existing work over to Thrive Suite? Let's talk about this. Hi there, I'm Tony and I'm a marketing specialist here at Thrive Themes. We upload a couple of videos each week about web design, marketing, business building. So if any of these things speak to you, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Okay, so tell me if this looks something like what you're going through right now. You've got a website and you just can't seem to find the motivation to update it. You know it's time for you to give your online presence a revamp, but every time you open up your page builder or you log into the backend of WordPress, you can't seem to find the motivation to do it because you either don't know where to start or you simply end up not loving the final result. Well, dear viewer, let me just tell you that these days are finally over. Going through a website overhaul may not seem like a cool journey to embark yourself in, but the truth is Thrive Suite makes this process fun. And I'm being serious, rebuilding your site and having all of the different components that make up your website use the same technology is a fun process. And it's a process that will make you appreciate your work and the time that you've invested in your online infrastructure much more because you are going to be happy with the end result. In fact, I would even argue that revamps are my favorite thing to work on because it gives me a chance to refreshing things up and give my brand a fresh new look. So regardless of which tool you were using beforehand, this is what a website overhaul with Thrive Suite typically looks like. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is install our product manager, which you're going to download from our website when you sign up for a Thrive Suite license. And this product manager is going to let you install on your WordPress website, all of our different plugins. Then what you're going to want to do is power through the Thrive Theme Builder Wizard. This is a very quick and fun process because you're going to be picking out a template for your website header, your footer, your homepage, your blog page. You're going to be uploading your logo and selecting your brand color. In essence, here is where most of the magic happens because in 15 to 20 minutes, you're gonna have a fully functional website up and running. Once you've powered through the theme wizard, you're now going to be able to open up all of these templates with Thrive Theme Builder, customize them, tweak the copy, and make sure it fits your own needs. And boom, I mean, this is what a typical overhaul looks like. It's not meant to take you a long time and it's been designed for you to enjoy the process and have a fully functional website that you can be proud of very quickly. Now let's talk about things to consider when you're switching over from an existing platform outside of WordPress, whether that's Shopify, Webflow, Framer, you know, the truth is there isn't a whole lot you can bring over from an outside platform into WordPress. And this applies to whether you're building with Thrive Suite or something else. Your pages, posts, and products developed on an outside platform can't be transferred into WordPress. You will have to rebuild all of these inside WordPress, which is why I truly encourage you to do so with Thrive Suite. You see here at Thrive Themes, all of our tools are built from a conversion focused standpoint and keeping in mind that we want our customers to launch their businesses as quickly as possible. Our goal is to have you generating revenue as fast as possible. You've already seen how in just a few minutes by powering through our Thrive Theme Builder Wizard, you will have created most of your, of your required pages, like you know, your homepage, your blog page, your about page, and so on, and they will look awesome. And if you have e-commerce products that you need to bring over into WordPress, you can look at options like WooCommerce or easy digital downloads for digital products. Now, if you're making this switch from Elementor or Divi or another WordPress builder, I have better news to share with you. You can continue to use your blog posts and categories, they can remain as they are, but you will have to make sure that you create a template inside Thrive Theme Builder that design-wise works well with your existing blog posts. And you know what I mean with this is that your existing blog posts, the ones that you've designed with something other than Thrive Architect, will inherit the top section, the bottom section, the sidebar, and the comments section of this template that we're going to be working on. But the content itself, you know, the, the, the actual meat of your blog post, the one that was designed with something other than Thrive Architect, will remain intact. And so you want these two things, the template that the blog post is using and the blog post itself to play well with each other. And moving forward, as you create new blog posts, you can design them with Thrive Architect and enjoy a little bit of more creative freedom. What I've seen some users that had been creating their blog posts using the WordPress native editor do when they've made this switch into Thrive Suite is slowly over time, as they updated older blog posts, 
is recreate them using Thrive Architect, essentially taking their existing blog posts and rebuilding them using Thrive Architect. But if you have 200 blog posts running on Gutenberg, you don't have to do that all in one set. You can most certainly work at your own pace. Like I said, the content of your existing blog post is not going to go anywhere. As for your pages, those you will have to rebuild with Thrive Architect. I will say though that most page builders should respect the design of your pages, even if you deactivate them from your site, which means that even if you turn off Elementor and you turn on Thrive Architect to start rebuilding your pages, your Elementor built pages should still work fine on your, on your site, even if you have Elementor turned off. The one thing that you should be aware of is that the moment you switch themes, some aspects of your site will definitely change. Your headers, your footers, your blog page, your sidebars, comment sections, these will now follow the style of your new theme. But the content, the meat of your pages and posts should remain intact. Okay, just as a quick recap, here's where you should start. First, you need to sign up for Thrive Suite and get our product manager installed on your site. Then you should power through our Thrive Theme Builder Wizard to quickly get your page templates ready. You can then customize these however you want to make sure they fit your own brand guideline. And finally, if you have pre-existing content inside your WordPress website, whether that's blog posts or something else, you may want to slowly redesign them using Thrive Suite tools. We've talked about how you may want to redesign blog posts before, but you may have pop-ups designed on a third party tool that you may want to bring over into Thrive Leads, and those will have to be redesigned as well. I think that's something to keep in mind is that it's always easier to use our templates. If you have a unique design of your own, then that's going to be a little bit more time consuming to implement when you're making the switch over into Thrive Suite. But if you're happy with using our templates, which there are a gazillion of them and they've all been designed by our team of professional designers, then you can literally just power through a major website overhaul very quickly. And look, let's face it, I'm not trying to trick you into anything. At the end of the day, there will be bits and pieces of work that you will have to do. I mean, recreating 200 blog posts with a new tool doesn't sound fun if you have to do it all in one set, but we've already thought about this. Uh, we know that making the switch over to Thrive Suite needs to feel good. It doesn't need to rush you into making quick drastic decisions that are going to force you to sit behind a screen for 12 hours straight. No, switching to Thrive Suite is about having your online presence serve a bigger purpose. It's about building your online brand quickly so that you can start generating income soon but it's not meant to enslave you into having to work for your website. No, Thrive Suite is here to do the work for you, not the other way around. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I'm down in the comment section below in case you have some more specific questions that you may need help with. And you know, remember that this process is fun. Thrive Suite makes conducting a website overhaul something that you can be proud of. And so, you know, if you're fully committed to making the switch over into Thrive Suite, there's a link in the description box that you can click on to do so at the best possible price. I truly appreciate your time and yeah, thank you. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Bye.